This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show, episode 682, Tuesdays, Tuesdays, Wednesday. Tuesdays, Tuesday-ish, that we've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter, here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. There's my title. And we got uh, some of the base crew back with us. The core of the mayhem is with us. Uh, okay, okay, hold on. Hold what? Well, first back with us from uh, Beacon, New York, the only mayhemer with a future endeavored letter from the WWE. It is Mad Mike. The only core of the mayhem show no. that our other co-host is part of is the C O R R E. <laughs> that that's it. Wow. That, that's it. Yeah. The core. Yeah. The core. Yes. By the way, bonus points if you can name all four members of the core right now. Okay, first of all, there were four? Yes. Uh, wait, 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 wait. It was Wade Barrett. It yes. was Heath Slater? Yes. It was um um Otunga? Nope. No. Oh, it was uh uh oh I'm trying to remember his name there. Gabriel. Just yes, Gabriel. Okay, yes. Okay, okay. Last and one. and Husky you... Harris. You... Nope, I'll give you a hint. Huh. Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground. I said Justin Gabriel. Uh, yeah, Michael were... Tarver. Nope. No, 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 no definitely not. No. Yeah, Who else was there? <laughs> I'll, I'll give you one more hint. He died in Lucha Underground. He died in Lucha Underground. I don't. I don't know. Big Zeke. Big Zeke. No way. Big Zeke. Ezekiel Jackson. Oh. They killed him. Yeah. Ronnie yes. belts. Ronnie two belts. Is with us. Hey, hey, back in here, Ronnie Starks. Hello. Hold on, is this still there? Wait, do we still have? Uh, no, that's not it. I'm not wrong. Not, I took hey. my ah, I took my Ronnie two belts out, or my, my book Ronnie out. You're there, but hey, it's worked because you got booked a lot of more places since we've been on. God, how'd that happen? Yeah, you're everywhere. For some reason, two different companies gave me championships. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the heck's going on there, but so, I am the current. Uh, I wanted to call it the Triforce Championship. The uh, the Triple Crown Champion, one third. We should just start calling it the Triforce title. I mean, why not? It does have a Triforce on it, to be fair. Mm, I mean, look at it. It's there, there for you guys on video. We could change our theme music to Legend of Zelda. <gasps> yes. Because, you know, the other stuff is copyrighted and we'll probably get in trouble for it. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, because Legend of Zelda definitely isn't copyrighted. Oh, yeah. We're not about, like, no, the copyrights weren't the problem. The fact that, like emergency services are going to be pissed was the problem. I mean, can we use the Purge music? Or is that copyrighted too? Uh, they can use the Purge music. We can use the Purge but I TV feel like, show music. I feel like that's used a lot. Yeah, it's like back in the day when everybody would use the Saw theme music. What is, yeah. What, that, is, what is, or Disturbed? I don't even know what the Saw theme is. Oh, God, And then okay, we got a picture yeah. there of the other championship that you picked up. Oh, yeah, the, the festival championship. Festival Championship, and I like that it's got all the other countries on there, too. Yeah, it, it's, uh, you can buy that belt, or used to buy that belt on High Spot. <laughs> Do you remember that title where it said World Champion, and then they just put a giant sticker over it, just said Festival Championship, which I'm going to turn that into somewhat of a 24-7 championship. Nice. So it's going to be the Indy 24-7 title, where I'm just going to defend it everywhere I go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, And it has to be done at festivals, though. Okay. So, like. Well, that's kind of a summer thing, then. Well, yeah, but you know, there's there's like winter festivals too. Okay, like, like if you go to if you, winter festivals. if you go to Ken, or you know you go to that Christmas thing at Kennywood, mm -hmm. like I could defend the title at Kennywood at that Christmas festival. Okay, or like you know how they have that pumpkin light up pumpkin thing, I can defend it at that light up pumpkin thing. What light up pumpkin thing? They they had that pumpkin festival. The great the great pumpkin? No, not the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. The uh, it was uh, they had this. Uh, I don't, it was just pumpkins that were lit up. It was it was at Hartwood Acres. They did it last year. Okay. 
Yeah, they did that. I'm not familiar with this. But then there's also going to be a festival in Trenum in a couple of weeks that I'm going to do some shenanigans. Fantastic. So I might get thrown out of the festival. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It's post NXT edition, the special Wednesday edition. Uh, we are uh, going to be back, I believe, on our regular schedule and definitely at least until the holidays next weekend or next week. Uh, every Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern on Facebook Live and other places you may be finding us as well, like the Twitch page for IndieWrestling.us uh, or um, on our Twitter, Periscope. Um, I don't even know what else we have connected at this point. Uh, but no, thank you everybody for dropping in there. But of course, the chat is happening over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook page for the most part. And we also have... There's the stuff. You can also drop us a line at that email address. Good, good times. Good oh, we, time. lost, we lost Mad Mike. Aww. We lost Mad Mike. A connection was lost. We'll see if we can get him back. Uh, good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com or 412-206-WMS0. Um, do, 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 at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. Uh, Facebook, uh, like we said, and the great Facebook group is also happening. Uh, so please go check that out. And like I said, every Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time on Facebook Live. If you catch us later on one of, or one, one, of, one of those other outlets, you can be part of the conversation at Mayhem Show on the Twitter. And please hashtag WMS682. Checking that number again. Am I back? You are back. Matt and Mike is Good. back. Woo-hoo. Hold on a second. Hold on a second because we met. We, you weren't here for it. You can again email us at that email address. Good time! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. It was strangely silent. <laughs> so. Yeah, because Ronnie is not a good podcast host. Oh, no. He doesn't understand the lore or get the gimmicks yet. Come on. The lore is in the gimmicks. You got to have about. I'm trying. You have like 650 episodes There's to catch like up on, only Ronnie. two things you have to do. Yes. And then Bo Diggity, then Woo. Yeah, yeah. That's, well, yeah. No, that's the next part. So Patreon.com. Um, yes. Th- sorry, I, I don't mean to interrupt. Um, on NXT, there's a European invasion what imperium no way so walter 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 is on nxt that's awesome i'm a big walter fan walter and all of imperium they just annihilated denzel de jornet denzel jornet de jornet so he he was a performance era guy who was supposed to have a match with Kushida, Mm. and imperium just said um hi no we're british and fuck you (laughs) makes sense as you do as mm-hmm. you do. Okay, I'm sorry. Continue with the plugs. Uh, we also have patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show where uh, you guys can support the show, including at the fan show $1 level. This is the part. Bo diggity! Woo! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Bobby FJ Town, Tina Keys, and Team Hammerfist at the Pocky Club $5 level, our friends Bradley Ruthers, uh, Doc Remedy, Dave Potter, Tyler Turner, and Daniel Towery. And at the Pizza Club, $13 is Ryan Clark. And at Manager Level, Occupy Pro Wrestling at the $20 mark. You guys can support the show as well at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. I know it's been a little light and weird with the schedule lately, but uh, we'll have some more stuff coming up it's for Ronnie's you guys. Fault. It's, it's no, it's, 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 it's all my fault. Oh, it's okay. Ronnie's fault. Sword Kushida came out and we might be getting Walter versus Kushida. Oh my. <laughs> uh, so oh we're getting boy. the updates because it is the first night of NXT on USA ish. NXT. Uh, well, it was the first night of NXT on USA. Yes. Now it is NXT on the WWE Network. But live. But live. live. I mean, and, we don't. And, oh my God, this looks like Marty versus Biff, and it's kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so the NXT did premiere uh, tonight on USA. Again, that first hour is uh, it was on there, and they switched over to the network at nine. Um, do and I. Don't and I think this is was suits on. Was that it, Mike? Um, it's the series. It's the two week season series finale of Suits. Okay, and then NXT is going to take over that hour. Yes, uh, take over, and and they've already announced a main event for that show. Okay, Candice LeRae versus Shayna Baszler for the NXT Women's Championship. We'll be on the first two hour edition. We'll be on the first one directly up against AEW when wow. they crown their Women's Champion. Wow. Yeah, get out of here, suits. Get out of here. Uh, I'm f- sorry. It, if we open up the rivalry with Candace Wrestling getting a title, mm-hmm. 
sign me the fuck up. I'm already in. Oh, and uh, next week. Oh shit, they they announced something for next week. I forget what it was. Damn it, I forget what it was. Okay. They, did annou- they announced a match for next week too. They'll probably go over it before. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back around yeah. to it. So first night on the bigger features were the four way dance uh, for the women's title, the Candice Lovely one that we're talking about. Oh uh, yeah, which if you haven't been watching, sorry, I just spoiled it for you. Well, I mean, it was live on USA. I think that's so true. We're beyond spoilers at this point. Um, mm-hmm. Strangely, I did not watch SmackDown for today. So, um, but you understand that's okay. Pretty- I can tell you what you missed. Not a whole we'll lot. We'll get into that. We'll get into that. Um, but uh, so first night they had that Velveteen Dream and Roderick Strong with Roderick winning and now. Uh, 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 undisputed, undisputed is has all the gold dripping in gold dripping Zorg. in gold dripping in gold indeed yes mm. Mm. so what yes. do we think of shallow and pedantic yes, <laughs> yes. interesting yes. Mm. the medium is that your martian is that your marvin the martian right, what do you think <laughs> Okay, I like it. Actually, I, I think it's more Say like... explosive space modulator. Explosive space manager. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, I have a Kermit the Frog, too. <laughs> I think everyone is a Kermit yeah, the Frog. Kermit the Frog here. Why are there so many podcasts about wrestling? I can just do impressions. <laughs> I can do Arnold, too. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing? Oh, no, we're not starting that. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. All of us were dropping bad. Arnold, a bad Arnold after, after one of the... <laughs> shows last week or the soundboards no welcome to the wrestling mayhem show no. <laughs> that's kind of like, i'm the arnold no, schwarzenegger oh, that's uh, just austrian no, kermit no, I, of candy I, i'm deducting points <laughs> anyways uh what did we think of the first night the first presentation the first introduction to uh nxt on usa obviously they've done like they put the they, they put they've had wwe week and they put nxt on before so that's nothing new there but as a as a hey this still is going to be the first thing for people to check out because of oh, the push this, behind it. This has been a plus plus so far. Okay, mm-hmm. they they've been they've been putting out content like this has been a damn good episode of NXT so far, mm-hmm. and continuing on the network as well. Uh huh. Yeah. Like I, I got I give credit, and now we have Leo Rush versus Sony Lorcan about to start, and mm-hmm. they st- there's still the street fight, uh, Matt Riddle versus Killian Dane tonight. Oh jeez, and I'm assuming that. that's going to end with a giant ass ridiculous spot. Mm-hmm. So something big to kind of push that, push people to it, and when they tune in next week, they're like, "Hey, what you, what you missed on the network?" You know, yep. um, interesting. Oh, Keith Lee versus Dominic Dijakovic. Thank you, Chris, in the chat room. That's what's on next week. Jeez, finally. Yes, yes. Sorry, have you not seen their matches before? Oh no, I'm very aware of their matches. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because they showed a package showing their rivalry, and then they said uh, they're having another match next week. So fantastic hoss fight um, to the max. Other than just being a really good eventful NXT, it didn't feel like they did much different. It nope. didn't. It didn't feel like you know. Uh, Triple H did open the show though. Triple H did open the show, much like he did for the first. Yeah, for the first takeover, for the first arrival, yeah, things like that, right? So, I mean, anytime there's a big sea change, of like, hey, shit is happening, they do this. And we might have lost Mas- Mad Mike again. Some connection nope, issues. I'm, oh, I'm he's here. back. He's back. Hey, he's he back. You, know, you know what? I think th- I think this is the first time I've, started, I've tried to be online while streaming something. Oh. Wouldn't be. be surprised. But, um, but, yeah, when they had the first takeover in Brooklyn, mm-hmm. it was Triple H who opened the show. And Triple H opened the show tonight, too. That's a good sign. Just a reminder who's behind the scenes, which mm-hmm. is not a bad. It was really funny, like, because when he did that for the TakeOver Brooklyn, he came out, like, 10 minutes before the show was supposed to start. Mm-hmm. And he's like, guys, 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 I appreciate you being as loud as humanly possible, but we want to try and do something, and we need you all to be very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and then people were cheering louder he's like no 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 this isn't a gimmick i really need you guys to be quiet just for a second i'm gonna be talking into the camera and then i'm gonna raise my arms and you guys go as nuts as you want <laughs> and everyone actually did it hey when when the king great. of kings um tells you to be quiet to do something cool to fifteen thousand people plus or whatever it is there at barkley i mean you you do Roughly, it right yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, I think that's the thing is, you know, 
watching those packages going into it like they're they've been very good and it has got to be by design like it very it feels very you know hey you know this is for the other people join the club this is exclusive you know it's got that very ecw vibe which is interesting since they actually tried to do ecw um and it especially seems like they're doing all hands on deck too because mm-hmm. like with imperium showing up with not only having cruiserweights on the show from 205 live but actually establishing the next number one contender on your show mm-hmm. there it's i honestly wouldn't be surprised if nxt uk maybe eventually goes away mm-hmm. and they all just get folded into nxt I think it's possible, but then you're taking away a lot for the network. And you've talked about, you know, we've, we've mm-hmm. talked about like, hey, there may be other stuff coming in the network. But, you know, with this rumor of 205 Live going away, with the with the move of, you know, SmackDown the Fridays and them coming into NXT, um, you know, again, we're still only talking about a two hour show. So, this is true. I mean, and NXT still has a very broad, deep roster itself. Mm-hmm. And granted, a lot of them are kind of people doing, you know, armory shows and, and, and getting their spot and everything, yeah, right? Yeah, not everyone's ready yet. Yeah, but still, just, and it is, you know, even with the growth from one hour to two hours, still, we just like, hey, here's all the cruiserweights. Hey, here's all the UK guys. I like the idea of it bridging back out to the shows. Hey, here's a feature cruiserweight match. That's 205 Live. Go over to the network. Hey, here's these UK guys. Although I do like the fluidity of them just kind of coming in and doing stuff and vice versa. Cassius Ono, I think, is doing something on, on TakeOver UK, right? Um, like those kinds of things happening. Mm-hmm. So now it's like it's Marvel crossover time. You know, now that everybody's established, we got this stuff going over here. You got your X-Men, your Avengers and your fantastic four. And we're going to show up on each other's books every once in a and while. And there's no Sony to take away Tommaso Ciampa. No yeah, suck it. Sony. <laughs> yes. Tommaso Ciampa, uh, far from home. <laughs> God, I'd love to see that. <laughs> Tommaso Ciampa with his alias Night Killer. <laughs> Night Killer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, I think it's pretty much a success. I, I'm sure we're gonna hear at, um we're gonna hear um um ratings or something, but I don't even know what you would compare it to at this point. I guess we'll have our ratings where once AEW uh pops up here at the end of at the beginning of the month, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Um Oh, the uh, partner brings up and and Ronnie and I were kind of talking about this. Is like, okay, it's just NXT, but now with more ads. Yep. Mm-hmm. Did that <laughs> was those, was that bothersome to you, or Ronnie? Uh, yeah, I complained about it a few times. Yeah, yeah. It's just like, oh, come on. I was like, oh, another commercial break. Huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I can't remember. Um, I don't think the show it had too many in match commercial breaks mm-hmm. on the network. They did when they were first starting out mm-hmm. because they would focus on having a lot longer matches mm-hmm. like especially like sometimes not very often but sometimes you'd have one nxt show that was the whole match yeah mm-hmm. but um i mean i was okay with it because it's you know it's what we it means that the wrestlers in the ring are getting more time and i'm all for that right Right. Like Dream and Roddy getting a two commercial break match, that's that's great. That's great, and it's not like these guys don't know how to wrestle for commercial breaks. Like they know, yeah, they know what's going on. Yeah, it, it just it, it changes the vibe slightly for you, you know, a little like, bit. Mm-hmm. But I, I I thought it was overall like really really well done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I think it's also very smart that I, I know Matt Collins has requested that we go through each and every new NXT shirt tonight. <laughs> I haven't even looked at them yet, but I heard some of them are oh, really tacky boy. looking. Well, I'll tell you what, let's, let's, um, let's, take a, let's take a moment for those. It's also very smart for them to advertise a whole bunch of new NXT shirts tonight and then do a buy one, get one a dollar. Mm-hmm. Oh. Very intelligent. Yeah, that's, that's a really, really smart play. Like, hey, let's introduce 50 new shirts. But then, you know, if you want two of them, you only have to pay full price for one. Hey, friend of the show, Walking Wild has a shirt. Now. I am buying his shirt tonight. Just in support. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good call. A good call. I, I, I bought Johnny Gargano's shirt, his first shirt. 
Mm-hmm. So I'm buying walking wild shirt, despite how it looks. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a rocket ship. It does not look great, it's, but uh, I'm still you can, going to buy you, it. You can support. tell maybe he didn't design it. You, you guys, oh, I guarantee he did not. Do tell. you guys know that <laughs> that uh, Walking Wild DJZ did design the very first Ring of Honor logo? Did it really? Yeah. What? I was unaware of this. Yeah, well, he's talked about it on the show a couple of times, um, and it's on the new DVD DJZ Gone Wild oh. with an E <laughs> that is available. <laughs> Uh, digital download indie wrestling.us and also pro wrestling library.com. Um, so uh, That's clever, mm-hmm. I see what you did there. So, it's yep, it's mentioned in the it's mentioned in the trailer. I'm uh, I'm currently on WWE shop as we speak. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, they oh are, here we go. They already Hold put on a up second. the undisputed gold shirt for all the guys wearing the title. They, oh, we'll, they did. Let's get to, let's it's get already the, on the website. Let's now. get to that in a moment. But first of all, I want to give a shout out to uh, supporting people. Hey, support friends of the show, of course, on WWE shop, but also support friends of the show today. Watch yeah. wrestling of mm-hmm. what's going on. Watch uh, uh, our friend Ronnie Stark's uh, team win the uh, Triforce Championship, Triple Clown Championship. At, Triple at Clown fight. Championship. Yes, that is <laughs> accurate. Uh, 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 see him. See him. Dun, dun, see him dun, get dun, dun, a, a heavyweight dun, dun. championship title shot at the last Black Diamond Wrestling Show. All of that over at IndieWrestling.us and IndieWrestling.network respectively uh go check out a lot of stuff over there brand new uh prospect pro wrestling it was a it was a it was spin the wheel make the deal night uh stipulations all night saturday night uh we saw a blindfold match where i was almost accosted by an italian uh you can see a clip of that over on the youtube page uh you can see um a casket match between bronco mcbride and uh, uh tyler klein uh, you can see a uh, the Rev against Eleven on Dawn in a five thousand dollars on a pole match. You can watch a, a aerial assault match where the um, ceiling is so low that not even Super Hentai can stand on the top rope because uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's short. Uh, STDs uh, in a in a street fight. And there was uh, butt rubbing. There was all kinds of stuff going on. Uh, so go check that out. That's part of Indie Wrestling dot network you can watch that new subscribers seven day free trial you can check out that exclusively there uprise which has a new show coming up this week or in two weeks i'm sorry and uh and and hardcore memories with duke and doe uh the the waffles with women uh breakfast with champions and more content coming soon from so many different promotions premier championship wrestling uh content from them up in cleveland Go check it out. News stuff all the time. Over 200 hours of content. IndieWrestling.network and VOD's digital downloads at IndieWrestling.us. The brand new Premier Championship Wrestling, Boiling Point, uh, which uh, includes uh, the, this some guy at AEW called uh, Wardlow. It was a part of that, so go check that out too. Uh, and uh, support Indie Wrestling there. So let's get into t-shirts. <laughs> I'm, I'm already here. So you're there. Oh, Let me. Man. So what are we? I, what are we looking at here? I'm, I'll pull up the website right, while we're at it. Uh, All right. Start I, I think. I, yeah. I think we should. Um. Uh, I think we should each pick our two favorites and our one least favorite. Oh, I have quite a few that are just really effing bad. Yeah, um, I know. Like it's it's a it's a. It, it's you can really choose and please be really descriptive because uh again many people are tuning in on... oh of course yeah absolutely and we're to be fair we are only talking about the shirts for people who have not had merch before yeah okay, okay. because the new velveteen dream shirt is amazing yeah, it is pretty good. good my fiance has already said she wants it mm-hmm. um the new street street profit shirt is fantastic it reminds me of tupac shirts i used to see in the 90s i gotta say i like the nxt with the skull yeah i like that too <laughs> like that's that's a triple h shirt there i'm gonna get that dripping mm-hmm. with gold shirt oh well notice that's not part of the buy one get well, one i know but i'm getting there to the terrible shirts damian, oh yeah damian priest all right here's a has an uh, interesting shirt mad, oh, yeah. mad sore he has a shirt uh-huh uh victory for all it's just there, a, there's a lot of people a generic have shirts. bird that have not debuted yet. Uh, Tegan really? Knox. That's like a... Tegan, Tegan Knox. I think is where the new shirts start. Yeah, it's like this old school like eighties logo where they're just mm-hmm. like boom. Tegan Knox. It it looks like how her name would have been spelled if she was on all that. Yes. And then there is a Vanessa Bourne T-shirt. It's generic looking too. 
Vanessa Bourne. Uh, you, you'll notice a pattern with these. Mm -hmm. It's her initials. Uh, there, there's a lot of them with initials. Uh, Bronson <laughs> Reed. Oh, here we are. Here we are. I, uh, yeah. I'm finally there. Yeah, it's just like it is just names. It's it is just the, names. It's there. It's like indie re, indie T-shirt time. Uh huh. Uh, Jordan, and, and not even like yeah. Jordan Miles looks like like they just slapped a Looney Tunes logo on a T-shirt. Like, I I don't Jordan mind the Miles. Jordan Miles. I don't mind the Jordan Miles one. Chelsea Green and then wait what? <laughs> yeah, Chelsea friend. Uh, oh, boy, wait, acquaintance wait. of the show. Chelsea Green Why? has a shirt. Are Chelsea Green and Diana Perrazzo supposed to be a team or something? Because they have very similar I shirts. Believe I, so. are, yeah. wow. I believe so. Wow. Yes. I think they're also with. Um, someone else whose name escapes me at this point. Did you see the pretty what? sweet Swerve T-shirt? Uh, yeah, Swerve's not that bad. It kind of looks like a uh, a muscle car logo. Uh, what's okay? Bivens Entertainment. I, I'm Bivens. not sure. Bivens. I believe that is is that um Stokely Hathaway. Is that the former Stokely? Oh, Hathaway? that'd be cool. That'd be uh, good. Dino Madden. If it's not if it's not him, then it's um. I oh, I forget who it is because there's also um, uh, Robbie E has a stable too. Yeah, I've never heard a lot of these names. Oh, it's Angel Garcia. Robbie E is in WWE now. Yeah, That's Robbie E is in NXT now. Oh, good for him. Uh, Dio Madden. I'm wow, not they sure really who that just, is. They just keep everybody one. Yeah, Cameron Grimes. Really I hear you saw tonight. Oh yeah, Cameron Grimes. I hear Austin he's, Theory. I hear he's a bit of a gentleman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does anybody check Twitter? Is Twitter on fire for oh, that yeah, one? Let me, let me look at that. Is somebody me... being less than gentlemanly in response to that? Oh, I got this. Oh please. yeah, that was, great. Mm -hmm. that was great. You know he's not too happy about that. Oh, I know uh, he's Rana not too happy. Is not a new shirt, but hers is. Yeah, I'm checking the Twitter. Bad, I guess. The Twitter machine. Um, Raul Mendoza has a nice shirt with some tribal logos on it. Hey, Mike, you can finally get your uh, uh, Kona Reeves shirt. Kona Reeves. No, no I'm, I'm Keanu Reeves. <laughs> Jesus. Um, there, there's a boa shirt for everyone who, who was a huge fan of boa. Who? Uh, exactly. Uh, boa I think has made a, like one or two appearances on NXT, but he hasn't really done anything crazy. Uh, Angel Garza has been on 205 Live. Yes. Yeah, and uh, yes. you know, and Angel, Angel Garza is good. He was he, in. Did he have a title too. shot? Uh, no, no. Angel, Angel Garza is not a title shot. I don't think. All right, I'm currently heading to. Uh... Brendan Vink, I am unaware of who that is. Oh, I. Th mm, it looks like he might be Australian. There's the Walking Wild one for you guys. It's just yeah, a, the Walking Wild one. It's I'm gonna um, have to buy because I want to support. Yeah, it's a it's it seems just like kind of a uh, WCW um, logo that they threw away. Well, I think the I think the part in the middle is supposed to be the J. Mm. So I think it's yet another initial thing. Uh, the Rick Boog is is pretty good. Looks like a Metallica logo almost. It's uh, maybe, man, maybe they have like uh, students at Full Sail designing some of these. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Jeez. Like it wouldn't shock me if this was the uh, the summer semester of Full Sail's final uh, project. Mike, I just want you to watch. Uh, right, uh, no one said anything on Twitter. Mike, Mike I just want you to uh, wear the uh, Prince Pretty Don't Touch Me shirt in awkward places. <laughs> I was, I already was planning on doing that. Oh, good. Tenera Conti shirt isn't that bad. Okay, I'll give credit to Tenera Conti shirt. It's, uh, it has her name with a with a black belt in a circle. Um, it's very yeah, little. a, a very lot of literal. these aren't. Cassius Ono. Deserved a better shirt. Keith Lee has a new, has a good shirt. Has the little you know limitless what? thing on it. I appreciate that the Street Profits one looks like one that I would buy a, a bootleg of uh, outside the arena. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The Parker and Martell shirt. I think that's the former 3.0. Okay. So that it's nice to see they have a shirt. Walking Wild. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to get the Walking Wild shirt. But well, yeah, I think that's. I think we hit pretty much the big ones. Like there were a couple other ones. Like Killian Dane has a shirt now, mm -hmm. which is good for him. But he should have had a shirt a while ago. Yeah, um, Kashida shirt. There you go. That's that, that's a big one. Um, oh well, the Kashida shirt has been out for a little bit. Has it? Yeah, um, that's been out for a little bit. So, NXT, they're getting big. We're seeing. Oh no! And by the way, currently on NXT. Uh, the street fight, and oh boy, Matt Riddle just got backdropped into the crowd. Oh, 
Uh, no, I just wanted to point out because I just saw this on shop. Uh, you can get your own twenty four seven championship toy title so that your um, child will, will try to wrestle you at all times. Sorg, uh, you have not heard that that may be the prize for Mayhem Fantasy Football this year. <laughs> what? Yes, the twenty four seven toy title. Yes. Now. I'm only, the real I'm, thing. Jeez. I'm 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 only going to get this as the prize for the title, if and only if whoever wins agrees to ship it to next year's winner. Oh, so, so that the, so that the championship can change hands. I think most everyone will be in agreement with that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if that's the case, then. Yeah, I, th- I think that's going to be a thing. Uh, question and, from the chat. Chris is asking if there's a Mama Mia shirt. No, there, there is needs not. To be. There, there, doesn't there need is to be. a Mia Yim shirt. That's not the same thing. No, well, we did. It's Mama a lot of the same Mama letters, Mama. though. A lot Mama of the same letters. Like... Mama Mia Yim tonight. So that's as close as you're going to get. Okay. And uh, they're now brawling. They're brawling backstage, and there are people sitting at tables uh, outside of Full Sail. Oh, God. Walter's just out there. <laughs> just hanging out no he was out there having a water and now oh no walter is going after matt riddle oh no well he has to do something oh, no. he's just gotta stay there chilling <laughs> oh no oh matt riddle pissed off imperium oh no oh that's not good <laughs> oh. oh and now it's a donny brook it is an <laughs> entire donny brook outside of full sail oh this is great they're Sorg, I think they're setting up war games. You know what? To be a student at Full Sail University and not be into wrestling and, and walking out of your night class on a Wednesday night and discovering this. Pete yes. Dunn just randomly showed up. <laughs> Honestly, this is fucking great. I everyone should be it after this podcast is done. Watch the second hour of NXT. I, it, it sounds like what I'm doing. Uh, sounds like what I'm doing as uh, as I'm editing the show tonight. Yep. So, hey, I highly recommend it. So, um, there was other wrestling. There's other WWE stuff. It's been a couple weeks. Stuff has yeah. been happening. There was a pay per view, Clash of Champions. Uh huh. Um, Champions sure did clash. Sure, in that, th- first, in that first match and no other time. What? Oh, actually, no. Champions never clashed. Excuse me. Champions never clashed. I well, I mean, oh, wait, wait. Are you champions saying... never clashed with each other? We should look at the history they of did. Clash of Champions. I yeah, I know. Ever it's... Did. What's like, that? I don't think it, they ever it, did clash. Though, did they? No, <laughs> no. If, there was a there was Ron... like a U.S. champion versus a world champion back in the WCW days. Oh I think my like... God, Sorg! This is just madness. This is mayhem of the best kind. Literally, there's brawling going on all over Full Sail. Nice. Please oh tell me God. he's screaming, Mamma Mia! I don't even what I a don't brawl. have the sound on. I don't have the sound on, but it's like everyone is fighting with everyone. There's some Forgotten Sons. There's the Street Profits. There's Matt Riddle judo throwing people. Like <laughs> Imperium is there. Like It's nuts, and I'm a fan. I think it's maybe the entire tag team division and I there's still know. 10 minutes left in the show too so yes there is. because technically the matt riddle killian dane match is still going on <laughs> was it um it's still happening it's a street fight it's a street fight <laughs> just everybody else has joined the street yep. fight and it's still happening like there's still a referee in the ring <laughs> I don't know. Does it seem like it, I? I feel like watching and and just from hearing hearing a little bit of what happened on SmackDown last night and and what what's been going on lately. We were talking about the Fiend on Monday night on the wrap up. Um, it feels like people are remembering why we like wrestling, mm-hmm. right? And the things sure. that actually get our attention, like this, like the Fiend and something weird happening. And hey, let's play the the Firefly Funhouse uh, for an entire minute after the show goes off air. Oh, uh, NXT is over. Nope. <laughs> no. And it's done. They're, they they ended with Killian Dane doing a massive suicide dive, dive onto like 10 people. Nice. Nice. But I mean, that's the thing. Like when things go haywire and there's the, the, the big brawls 
and the unpredictability and the you know what the f was that mm-hmm. oh oh shit it's kane you know it's randomly gonna, it's gotta be kane my god it's gotta be kane you knew something was up while he was mm-hmm. hanging out all night um well, as soon as i saw where they were mm-hmm. i knew exactly what was gonna happen i'm like because because remember kane did not win the 24 7 championship Glenn Jacobs did. Mayor Glenn Jacobs did. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was trying to think of his county. I couldn't think of it. Hmm. That was messing Cobb with me. County, Georgia? No, that's <laughs> Knoxville no, County. That, that, We're going to go to Cobb County, that's, that's, Georgia. That's, that's a different guy. <laughs> yeah, it's a different guy. He's not around anymore. Oh, um, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's, he's dead, Jim. He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Uh SmackDown the Don't definitely the pepper. the um the the promo Knox train County. Knox County. Knox Michael County. Q Knoxville County. Oh. That's how you remember. Uh, Michael Q Knoxville. The promo okay. train's running for uh SmackDown. We're getting is it Kofi Kinston versus Brock Lesnar yep. on the on for the title on the first it episode of SmackDown sure on Fox. So Lesnar's gonna win that. Huh? Wow. I- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What if Kofi gets that big upset and everybody's like, uh, "Holy crap!" This well, just see, happened. Here's all right. Here's the reason I'm I'm giving pause to this Brock Lesnar being Kofi on the first uh, SmackDown. Okay. First of all, Hell in a Cell is three days after. Mm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Two days after. Wow. So, right. So that already gives me pause. Mm-hmm. Secondly, look at the guy who's in charge of SmackDown. SmackDown. Eric mm-hmm. Bischoff? Yes. How many big title matches on free TV can you think of on an Eric Bischoff joint that ended clean and satisfying? Because I can think of one. George Gnome? Yep. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's the only one I can think of. Mm-hmm. So I have a feeling there's going to be some shenanigans. I remember the championship oh. changing hands twice in one episode on <laughs> multiple occasions. <laughs> I By the end of Friday Night SmackDown, uh, Archer is going to be a WWE champion. Mm-hmm. It's going to be uh, one of those he loses and then gets the title back later on. I have a deal. funny feeling. All right, and this is going to sound weird. Do you know who I think is going to interfere in that match? Who? Someone out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm thinking. I think Randy Orton is going to try and get payback on Brock Lesnar. Mm. What? That's that's my thought. And then you set up a triple threat match at Hell in the Cell. That way you can do whatever you want. Okay. All right, I feel it would be weird for them to have Brock Lesnar on a pay per view without. I'll get, I, then again, putting them the first Fox show, I guess uh-huh. that would be good. Good lead in for something like yeah, that. Yeah, Brock's first TV match in like fifteen years will alone pop the rating. Well, at, at that point, it doesn't matter what the ending is. Well, his pro- last TV match was probably a on network television on UPN when SmackDown was there. So the return to network television <laughs> for SmackDown. Uh, you know, Brock, Brock's a primetime player. Yeah, I guess not, so. Not that kind. Not that. Uh, not, uh, okay. Yeah, not that kind not, of not, He's doing the dance. Millions yeah, of okay. dollars, millions of dollars. Millions yeah, of not, dollars. Not, not millions. that kind of primetime player. But no. prime time. I like the primetime players. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we all did. Oh, miss those guys. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, hey, we'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in the world of wrestling. But in the meantime, want to give a shout to our friends at Slice on Broadway supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Uh, we're not getting as much of it because we're not doing it on Tuesdays lately, but <laughs> we'll be back at it. Those guys have been supporting us for a good long time here in Beachview, Carnegie, East End, and PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, but as usual, our unofficial campaign to get them in more places. I, I was on a Broadway down in uh, Myrtle Beach, and 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 I forgot to I you know wanted to tag that that Broadway and say, hey, here's another Broadway. Because if you if you want to help with the global expansion, find Broadway in your town. 
take a picture of the sign, tag under PGH underscore slice on the Twitter, and let them know you want to slice on your Broadway, wherever that may be, because we know uh, plenty of you out there in the chat listening to us are all over the country, and maybe beyond. Are there Broadway avenues in other countries? I don't know. To infinity and beyond? There you go. So go check them out, sliceonbroadway.com, and thank them for supporting the show. We'll be back after this message from Katie, and we'll have the big question. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Live from the Sorgatron Media. Okay, this I'll is do it live. Ow. Do it live. There you go. Thank you, Pup Boss Puppet. This is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. We are rolling with it. Ronnie Starks. Uh, I, I Ronnie, need that puppet. Ronnie Two Belts is here. Ronnie Two Belts. Ronnie uh, Two Belts. The Triforce Champion. The Triforce Champion. <laughs> the two Triforce belts, Festival Triforce. Champion. So, like, technically, your team won the belt. Does that mean you? Because it's a tag team. I don't know. Well, no. I, technically, since there's three belts, one is mine. Okay. But I'm just kind of kind of carrying around. There's three belts. Okay. Are you there's three belts. Trios? Are you trios? It's champion? it's a trios, but we're calling it. Well, the, it, was, uh, it, it it was a trios, but now it's tag. But there's a third belt, and there's the third belt means something. The third belt means that you get a shot at the. Uh, I think the contenders title. The contenders title, yes. and then the contenders title gives you a shot at the heavyweight title. Yep, this sounds very confusing. Uh, well, you know, wrestling, am I right? Wrestling. <laughs> wrestling, wrestling, wrestling. Uh, it's fun. Like I'm, I'm like, what am I supposed to do with this? They're like it's yours. I'm like, oh, nice. I'm nice. like, I guess I'm gonna take and, this home. And, and you did bring in a guy lately called Loss Prevention. Yeah, he's good. He's awesome. He's got that suplex that'll, uh, you know, make you quiver in your boots. There you go. Just out there murdering people. He'd rather know you than throw you. Yeah, <laughs> he'd rather throw you than know you. Is that the other uh, way around? I don't know. You said he was a nice guy, so I'd assume it was he's, the opposite. He's a nice guy to us. He's uh, he's a little oh, boat. Okay. Everybody else. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I got it now. We're okay. in the team, and you, when you're in the huddle, no matter how many times you huddle during a match. Apparently twice. Apparently twice is the key. Why there was two huddles, I'll never know. I mean, you needed a reset, and then you needed a reset. You gotta hit that reset I button. I mean, how, you get three timeouts in a wrestling match, right? Wait, <laughs> the reset button? Does that mean, like, Puppet FJ time came out or something? Sure. Or is that, that a different reset button? I think that's, that's a different, different, that's a different lore. We don't talk about that lore anymore, Mike. Okay. But, but, I, but I got your reference. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, okay. Like, I understood that reference. <laughs> Anyways, it is time for the big question, and I brought one to the table this week. Well, I hope so. You took the whole damn week off, Sword. <laughs> I had a lot of time to think about it on the beach. Uh, I need to do that more yeah, often. Yeah, rub it in. Uh, rub it in. I haven't had a vacation in like 10 years. It's great. Um, <laughs> Good for you. Sword. Well, I'll technically go on vacation with the gathering, but people think I'm working. So, mm. uh, But no, it was nothing. It was the beach. I was enjoying it. There wasn't even any wrestling. Like, I heard you went to the Quickie Mart. I went to the Quickie Mart. Did they tell you, thank you, come again? No, they did not. I don't think they're allowed to anymore. That's unacceptable. I don't think that's PC for them to do anymore. Thank you, come again. No, but I really wanted to go to the 4D thing, but I didn't have anybody to go to the 4D thing with. (laughs) Aww. Because nobody can do three of the Ds. Uh, Anyways... (laughs) So you didn't go to Above Array Devon. So so you couldn't do the 3D show? (laughs) She has a 3D problem. Oh. Yeah, yeah. You didn't go to the Haunted House either? Because they have a Haunted House down there. She's not going to Haunted House. Ri- that Ripley's Haunted House Yeah, thing. we saw it. Oh, I want to do that so much. Rhea yeah. Ripley's Haunted House? That sounds great. Mm-hmm. That's a good idea. Rhea Ripley's Haunted House. Mm-hmm. Show ah. title. I bet it's really cheesy. What? I bet that Haunted House is really cheesy. Everything looked cheesy. Oh, Dude, it's, I, it's I, vacation, I would I wouldn't. Yeah, I know it was vacation stuff, but... Um, you know, we, we did the boardwalk and we did the arcade there. I found, we found a WWE Pinko, Plinko looking like, you know, bullshit ticket machine. Did you take a picture nice. of it? Yeah, I did took a picture, a picture of it. Of it? Uh, yeah, I did take a picture of it, actually. Yeah, you, did, you, didn't, you didn't post it anywhere. You need to you? pull that, you need to put that uh, up on the show. Okay. Yeah, see the, the, geez, everybody's the, telling me how to run a show around here. The Plinko well, madness. While I'm, while I'm, I mean, it's one of those like coin pusher like you know kind oh, of that's deals. awesome i love those things yeah. you love those things i'm like i'm yes. not gonna spend my money on that crap uh, <laughs> oh, i will absolutely spend my money i love those that. games oh, where you have to like pound on the button so here it is it was the uh you know something rumble machine 
and uh, it, it's it's on the feed over there. But yeah, they had some video thing. It would show like clips every once in a while, but that's it. You can tell it's recent. It's got like Bailey AJ style. I guess the rocks on it. Ba- wow. Balor. Um, it's got Kalisto on there for some reason. Well, Kalisto was a star at one oh point. Oh my but... god, I want to play that so. Badly. Yeah, it's one of those like you drop that uh, is awesome. the coin or something, and if it hits a and slot. You get cards. Um, I don't think you get cards. Yeah, you get oh, it cards. is a, it is a card drop well, situation. Uh, oh, or... and you didn't play it? No, I did not play that. Oh my you could have got some I... kind of card, man. <laughs> I totally want to play that. That's it. We're going to Myrtle Beach. Yes. <laughs> Mike, I'm going to need you to pack your bags. We're leaving tomorrow. All right. All right. Fine. That works. I, I'm, I'm not going to Mothman Festival anymore. I'm going to Myrtle Beach to play this. <laughs> Mothman is real and he would accept you going to Myrtle Beach. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll post that in the, in the Wrestling Ma'am Show Facebook group, too, so you guys can also comment on that. I, 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 hope, I hope they bring one up here because there's a place, uh, the, an arcade that me and the fiance go to that has a bunch of those coin machines. I, f- I really hope we get that one. I feel like it would be at a Dave and Buster's or something, mm-hmm. right? <sighs> so I guarantee it's a Dave uh, and Buster's. I'm gonna have to check. Every so I mean, this was just like a boardwalk, theater. like arcade kind of thing. Oh. We went to the one that had some ticket machines, but actually had like some some good games, like the Halo Raven thing, uh, Team Raven, and uh, like giant Tomb Raider. Shoot 'em up. Um, a Mario Kart arcade mm-hmm. was one of them. A uh, Ninja Turtles stand up. Um, the so. Ninja Turtles, but it's really the uh, the 2008 Turtles. Yeah, it was. Yeah, hey, it was, it that's was, a fun game. It's like the Nickelodeon ones that looks like the like the, the Wii game one? that you had. Yeah, yeah but that's it, it, a fun it's game though. So I was on a cruise ship last year and I beat the hell out of that game. It's only got like three levels, I think, right? Yeah, but they're long. Okay, levels. okay. And then once you beat the three levels, you have to fight Shredder. They had a giant Mauser that I couldn't get past. It was like literally like a five, or like a <laughs> ten foot Mauser. That's like, why you fail, Ronnie. Well, you know, that's why you, that's why you and fail. I call myself a Ninja Turtle fan. You know, doesn't mean you have to be good at the games because holy shit, that Turtles first fight with honor, man. Anyways, the big question <laughs> for this week: once we we got the twenty four seven championship, we got uh, Mayor of Knoxville County Glenn Jacobs is now become the champion. That one guy on Fox Sports become the champion. Um, it seems like it's happening all over the place. So since the Not to mention, uh, Boston Celtics center, Enos Cantor. That's right. That's right. So since this is pretty wide open now, who would you like to see as a future 24 seven champion? Bart Simpson. The, <laughs> okay. Bartman. Bart yeah, yeah. You gotta bring the Bartman. Bart Simpson. Mm-hmm. That is my answer. Mm-hmm. I, I want, our truth to somehow stumble into a cartoon of the Simpsons on SmackDown on Fox. And I want Bart Simpson to beat him for the 24 seven title. What about our truth versus Peter Griffin? Nope. Fuck you, that. No, but you know, you get Peter Griffin versus the chicken. You can't have our truth versus Peter Griffin. All right. First of all, after, after the first time that played, it completely killed its own gimmick mm-hmm. because they fight like every month now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and and no one watches Family Guy anymore anyway. Oof. Jeez, I watched Family Wow. Guy. I honestly it, didn't know it was still on. Yeah, it is. See? See? I watch American Dad more than Family Guy, though. Hmm. No, but it, Bart Simpson should be 24-7 champion. Hmm. That's a good one. Good one. What about you, Ronnie? Hmm. <laughs> Is that a hint? Is it Kermit the Frog? <laughs> somehow, somehow the Muppets host uh, the show and Kermit pins them. you like, there, I'm the 24 7 champion now. It's not easy holding a green title. Yeah, it's not easy being green. Mm. Yeah, I'm going with no, Kermit. Well, let's be honest. If any Muppet was going to hold the 24 7 title, it would be Seamus's cousin, Beaker. <laughs> yeah can you imagine yeah, the promo yeah, that's, in canon. Yeah. that's in canon yeah mm-hmm. can you Peter imagine the promo doesn't uh, he'd be like meet 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 and Archer would be like whoa watch your mouth man <laughs> <laughs> see you're already writing the segment for me <laughs> I got you WWE I read the whole segment for you <laughs> jeez um I would have the Okay, good, sorry. I I love that we wait 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 wait. So so I put this out here, and and not that I have a better answer, but we we came up with our answers as a cartoon character, uh huh, and a Muppet. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. Like we didn't actually pick real people. Okay. Hey, hold on. They are real people to us, David. Yeah. All right. You you want us to pick like like a real celebrity or a real wrestler? Like let's go celebrity. Are- let's go celebrity at least. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> let's go a person with legs. Oh well, technically Bart Simpson does have legs. Well, mm-hmm. yes. Uh, all right, let's see. For a celebrity with legs, Sorg, if you have one, you can go. I'll think. I'm still okay. working on mine. Dave Ponder says King Maxwell. I think that would be yeah, perfect. But, but that should have already happened at the wedding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If that, if that didn't happen at the wedding with King Maxwell as the ring bearer, it should never happen. Um. Oh man, this is this is tough because I thought Bart Simpson was the right answer. <laughs> it's, it's, it's money out the gate out the gate like literally first thing that came to my mind um oh kumail I, nanjiani who he uh was in stuber with batista oh that guy yeah yeah yeah, yeah why not um um one that uh here, here's one that i think makes sense and actually this probably will happen sooner or later the more I think of it, uh, Jimmy Fallon. Mm. Oh God, yeah. I mean, they, that they, probably will happen at some point. You're they right. do so much with that. Oh no, fuck! I I have another one too. Go, get, but no, continue, sir. Sorry. No, that's that's all I got. That's okay. all I got. Um, no, you know who's gonna get? Michael Strahan on Fox NFL Sunday. Mm. Or mm. or if we want to say Pittsburgh, Terry Bradshaw. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I thought about Terry. And I'm like, I, can't, I couldn't remember which channel he's on because I don't watch football. Sports ball guy. I know who he is. I know who he is. Jeez, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't been not watching football for that long. That, that, that. <laughs> Thank you. That he's, flag right he's there. He's pointing at a terrible towel. A terrible towel. Yes. A terrible towel. Jeez. Hooray but for no, sports. Like, literally, I could see everyone on Fox NFL Sunday at halftime exchanging the title. I could see all four of them. It, it could go Johnson, like throughout. Like Hint, Terry Bradshaw, all of them. Throughout the pre-show, into the halftime, you know, kind of thing, right? Nothing but net. Well, that should happen on uh, the Thanksgiving games. Yeah. Where should... everybody exchanges oh, it during Thanksgiving. Don't they, don't they have a robot? Yeah, yeah. the robot should get the oh, robot. We're going yeah. to animated characters again. Uh. Damn it. No, the, but no, it's a robot, no, though. No, yeah. there's an actual robot. Yeah, it's a real Wait, robot. Wait, what? Yeah, yeah. There's an actual robot. What is Fox I believe Sports? Hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. I'm Fox jogging has my a big memory. budget, man. It's okay. His name is Cletus. Yes, <laughs> Cletus, the football robot, will be the uh, WWE 247 hard hard 247 champion. The 247 United States Intercontinental <laughs> yeah. European <laughs> champion. Yep, and Tina. Sorg decided to start at nine because he decided to start at nine. Oh, is she an hour late? Sorry, Dana? sorry. I guess I did say that out loud somewhere, didn't I? Sorry, you did. That's gosh. why I was asking why we were changing it. But <laughs> because, da, 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 da. jokes. I don't understand USA Network scheduling. Okay, Sorg. Tina wanted to finish watching Suits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's obviously obviously i mean it's been a long road and and that other guy got the firm and yeah something uh, by so, the way tina our big question is what celebrity would you like to see host to tw- hold the 24 7 championship yes feel free to contribute. ronnie do you have one that's not a, a puppet or a uh, cartoon character well i already did the uh one cheesy terrible uh impression so oh no let's no. talk about the arnold <laughs> The former governor of Candiconia. The one that you punched know, out Triple know, sadly, H yeah. on the in, SmackDown. In the run up to the new Transform uh, the new Terminator movie, I could see that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I could see that. All you hear is dun, 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 dun. and then our truth <laughs> is. And then everyone like, thinks oh, Kenny Omega's coming out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like, Kenny Omega jumped ship like we thought he was going to like eight months ago, but we really uh, wasn't gonna happen. It's just Arnold. It's just Arnold. <laughs> Everybody will get hyped, and then Arnold will come out like, no. It's coming. Technically, they did do a transfer or a ter- God, a a Terminator thing. I love that they did oh, a yeah. Transformers Your thing. Yeah, Triple H was a Terminator. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, sure, yeah. like John Cena John Cena was in a Transformers movie, so. Well, there's there's the yeah. crossover right there. Oh, Actually, Bumblebee I heard Bumblebee was really good. Or... Bumblebee is, You haven't seen Bumblebee? I haven't seen Bumblebee. What yet. the shit? I also have not seen I'll, I'll run it tomorrow. 
watch it. All right. Like. As soon as you can. I actually I, think it's I, free on demand right now. Well, there you go. I'll watch it. Wait, yeah, is it free on demand? Because I'll watch it if it's free. Uh, do you have Xfinity? No. No, they I don't. I have their there. cable. Yeah, they have, they have shit. New York gets shit cable. Oh, you guys don't have shit. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. man. It, it just went on HBO on demand. I mean, not that Xfinity is not Oh, shit it's cable. on HBO? Okay, yeah. I check have check uh, your on demand uh, okay. service. Duly noted. There you um, go. Right now, at this very second in time. I want to hear your reaction. No, I'm not going Can to I get a live tweet? Can I get a live tweet? You control me, Ronnie. I'm just helping you I don't you care out, how many films you have. I want to help I wanna, me help you help me I want a live tweet from both of you guys when you watch that. <laughs> we really That's, should. Like, really. Uh, Larry did not like the John Cena acting. Well, you know. He that, really... You know, he was really hard on John Cena acting. Sometimes Larry just can't have nice things. He, <laughs> he never watched uh, Cockblock. John Cena's gonna be in the, John Cena's gonna be in the goddamn Suicide Squad. That's no, right. he is not. Yes, yes he, is. he is. Who's he gonna play? Uh, they no said one yet. knows. What if he's gonna play Deadshot? That'd be awkward. No, no, I don't think they're gonna have Deadshot in it at all. I think I think the only ones they're bringing back are Harley uh, Quinn, Boomerang, Rick Flag, Harley Quinn. Yeah, that's it. So John uh, Cena okay, is on, probably going to be on, here. Uh, here's a small question: Who would you have John Cena play in the Suicide Squad? Nobody. Mm, he shouldn't be in the movie. We already have a Killer Croc. I do love Killer Croc. Hold on, hold I, on. I want him to play Amazo. Bane. Oh, oh fuck. my god! Oh, Don't do that. No, because Bane has to be uh, Luchador. Bane has to be Spanish. Uh, well, no, that you was, know what? Well, if the guy could learn uh, Chinese better than Mark Zuckerberg. Um, I think he can pull that off. Oh no! Uh, well, fuck. Hold on. I have fuck. a question. Miss, Miss, yeah. Producer Missy has a question. Hello, Missy. Now keep in mind that I've not been paying attention to any of this conversation this evening. <laughs> That's not right. Wait, you, you haven't been funny. producing the show? Well, no, I haven't been. <laughs> oh, <God>. seriously. <laughs> the only thing that I just heard was the only character that's returning is Harley Quinn. John Cena is in the movie. Therefore, John Cena is Harley Quinn. No, no. Yes. No, no, no. Because they're having. Yes. She's getting her own movie too. That's no, can't be March. John Cena. No, John Cena is now Harley Quinn. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That doesn't. Thank mess. you, Mad Mike. You're welcome. So, is everybody yeah. gonna be like, Are you gonna assume John Cena's gender he's if he's range. playing Harley Quinn? He's got range. He's, he's got, got range. range. Yeah, he's got hey, range. If, if, if Kira Knightley can be Cable, John Cena can be Harley Quinn. First of all, if that would have happened, I really would have popped for that. What? Um, if Kira Knightley played uh, Cable? Cable in Deadpool 2, I really would have popped for that. Was that a thing? It was going to be a thing. Yeah, because at, at the end of Deadpool 1, Deadpool came on, he did the Ferris Bueller thing and said, next movie, we're going to have Cable. We don't know who's going to play her. Maybe Kira Knightley. Who knows? She's and got... Then, dude, people popped for it, and then people made I wanted pictures so of like half of her as Cable, and it looked good. And I was like, yeah. I'm okay with this. Yeah. Because I put it past Ryan Reynolds and be like, hey, fuck you guys. I'm doing whatever I want. It's my movie. Yeah. They cast Thanos. I did. I, I randomly was playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and mm -hmm. I put it on random and I ended up with the Deadpool skin where he's like also half cable because of like a bad body slide. Nice. And uh, <laughs> and he's like, and, he, and, he, and it starts to match. It's like, and you thought cable wasn't in this game. <laughs> so, sorry. That's wow. What is this? Don oh, wait. Donald Glover for Spider Man. What is this question? That's not. Is he also the 24 7 champion? Can, yeah. can Donald Glover be the 24 7 champion? Why not? Which Donald yeah. Glover are we talking about? You know what? What do you mean? Which not Donald only Glover? Can Donald Glover? He can lose it. Childish what, what movie Donald, Donald Glover are we going to have? <laughs> like the music video Donald Glover or the community Donald Glover or... Are we going to have Donald Glover from Saw or like what, what, oh, yeah, what Donald Glover that. are we going to have? Like are we going to have him... Uh, what's... I almost said Bad Boys but that's not it. Uh, Die Hard. Oh no, not Die Hard. What was, oh. the, what was the, buddy, the buddy film with... Uh, what, what's his effing name? He, uh, I can't remember his name, but he uh, he produced Passion of the Christ. Uh, Jim uh, Mel Gibson. Yeah, Mel Gibson. Mel <laughs> Gibson. Mel Gibson what? could be twenty four seven. No, he cannot. Okay. Mel Gibson should that's not fine. win anything. Ever. Yeah, no, let's not do that. No, uh, Mel Gibson's a terrible person. Yeah. Oh, Donald Glover from uh, from Atlanta. Yeah. Okay, that works. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody sure. pick a Donald Glover from what century and what movie? Mm -hmm. At what time of the day? Like just, you know just pick a Donald someone, Glover. I'm gonna just do a D and D square. What is your Donald Glover? 
<laughs> Which Donald Glover is lawful neutral? And we could just have a bunch of different Donald Glovers. It'd be like, <laughs> it'd be like boop, 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 boop. And then yeah. the light picks a Donald Glover. Yeah, Childish like, Gambino, Donald Glover. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No whammies, no whammies. Yeah. Stop. And then the whammy comes up. America. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Well, that went a lot of different places. Off the rails. Yep. Yeah, that's what happened when we did this at uh, Wednesday nights. Oh, look at that. Uh, a friend of the show, Ronell Hunt, started a new job at Shane Taylor Promotions. Yeah. You see uh, this? You see this, Mad Mike? I No, I'm not looking at Facebook. I'm paying attention to the show. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm just saying in general, this is a thing that's been developing over the last couple of days. Very okay. proud of the Rev. friend of the show. The Rev Ron Hunt is now um, um, promoting Sean Shane Taylor, hold on, wait, wait, our representation, uh, the Rev Ron Hunt, here on the set. <laughs> um, I now work for Shane Taylor. <laughs> wait, you gotta give him the voice. I gotta think, how do I, Kermit? Yeah. Yeah, I now work for Shane Taylor. <laughs> The television title for Ring of Honor belongs to us. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh Is he watching boy. right now? He's going to be like, Ronnie, what the that's, shit? That's the weirdest preacher I, voice I've ever heard. <laughs> I love you, Rev. I, I love that dude so much. Oh, all right. Uh, Tina Tina has an answer for the big question. Okay. What's your, te- what's your question, she, Tina? Gosh. She wants Beyonce or Taylor Swift as 24-7 champion. That's a terrible idea, and you know it, no, Tina. I'm honestly on board with both of it. Both of them. If she doesn't sing uh, her stupid song from Lion King, we'll be good. No, Be- Beyonce pinning our truth. Come on, you yeah, know you. Mm-hmm. I mean, I you know I would pop for it. Or Taylor yes. Swift like knocking the fuck out of Drake Maverick. Mike, yeah. <laughs> Mike, you missed the obvious choice. Okay, Donna Glover. YouTube.com slash Poppy. <gasps> yes, oh, Poppy no. is twenty four seven champion. Poppy, 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 <laughs> poppy, 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 poppy. He's so happy. It's just a giant blur on the feed. <laughs> Jeez, I've never seen you so excited. And you never will again. Have you listened to the new album? <laughs> no. No. Not yet. I haven't had a chance. To. Get on that. Get on that, man. Well. Anyways, Napoleon Time for 24 7. This is going to keep coming through the night. So, Heck yes. uh, oh, in the yeah. meantime, we're going to give a. God, our truth. Give me some of your thoughts. Jeez. <laughs> Tina, eat your ham. <laughs> <laughs> I want to give a shout out. Of course, there's a lot of pro wrestling going on. I love when people ask me, is there a wrestling show this weekend? Strangely, there is no wrestling show, I believe, in the Pittsburgh area no, this weekend. Isn't. It's weird. That is weird. It's an it's off week for all of us. Like, I was... All of wrestling was canceled in Pittsburgh. All of, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like like all of us are going to be sitting down around like, what's going on? Mm-hmm. But we now have dates into 2020. Mm-hmm. Oh, for pro wrestling at pittsburghwrestling.com go check it out we got dates already for the kswa and rise wrestling with a y um and also while we're there did you know ronnie of mm-hmm. fight society of the uh triple crown triforce champions mm-hmm. um that fight society was um uh, included and featured in the uh spanish language uh mullet club it's it's really in Spanish. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. Dude, we, yeah, yeah, we had the translation over there at PittsburghWrestling.com. Those dudes are really cool. Yeah, they were they were really cool. Had a mm-hmm. great match. It was uh, it was like the Pride of South America Challenge uh, Championship match. Mm-hmm. Uh, great three way. I the two of those guys I think were from Chile, mm-hmm. right? Ryo, who's a part of the uh, Ring of Honor Dojo, uh, part of Fight Society over there, and of course as a part of Fight Society uh, episode thirty eight. If you check out IndieWrestling.us or Pro Wrestling Network PWNNetwork.com. Um, but while you're there, again, you can check out all the wrestling going on. You can pick which of the three wrestling shows are going on on the 28th of this month. Uh, there's, there's some stuff on the Sunday, the 29th. Um, but mm-hmm. you know, you plan your Pittsburgh wrestling, anything within an hour of Pittsburgh, every region should have this one to help me when I'm traveling and looking for wrestling shows like SoCal and Sensor does a great job with it. Mm-hmm. But we got you guys covered here in the Pittsburgh wrestling scene. Um, go check that out. And again, like really just about every weekend there's wrestling and we're already off to a good start with the schedule for 2020. And as uh, more promotions release their schedules, uh, we update that as much as we can. Even Ring of Honor and I, uh, 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 WWE shows, AEW uh, will be on the calendar as well. Just if they're a kaiju big battle when they come to town, NEW, if there's wrestling within an hour of 
the greater metropolitan Pittsburgh, it will be a part of this. Pittsburgh Wrestling dot com should i uh, should i plug uprise because i'm on it wait for the end of the show okay do that all right so what were we rolling into what were we just talking about other than 24 7 champions oh, with no legs nxt <laughs> nxt well no i was gonna say so we were talking about wwe before AEW. i don't think there's been any news lately um but uh how are you feeling going into this with AEW uh, launching here? I heard the ticket sales are finally softening a little bit uh, as far as the Pittsburgh shows or anything. I don't think anybody's in trouble. No. But, you know, I mean, it, it makes sense if those first couple would be sellouts. I, I remember us panicking getting tickets for the yeah. AEW show. Yeah. And then realizing when I looked the other day, there was still a shit ton left. Yes. Like, so why did we panic to get these? Yeah. when they went on sale well we didn't know and also uh, you know i gotta think like when nxt first came to town i didn't get a ticket for the first two shows yeah same here like i just did not get a ticket for the first two shows that mm-hmm. were here at stage but then again the peterson peterson event center is a much larger menu it's like four thousand seats right Something oh it's like, like ten thousand is it ten thousand yeah well, I, I know i looked it up before i'll do it again here i mean they're doing some decent sized venues like not like Hockey arena, full size, ten, you know, fifteen, eighteen thousand. I think. I mean, they're they're going balls deep into this whole thing, man. They're not messing around. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that the right analogy to use? I, I'm not sure, and we don't have uh, Mad Mike with us again because he lost no. the connection. So he can't so. yell at me for saying no. Balls he can't. Deep. He can't. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think that's what he would yell at you for. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> it's like that's not of what all you the want things. To use. It's like no, you're right on for language here on this show. <laughs> Um, let's see. It's actually the 12,000 for well, Peterson. Geez. I I don't imagine. I mean, you know, there's going to be a set and everything and Mad Mike's back with us. I think they I have sold had, five Google's, so far. Google's, what was that, Mike? Fucking, Google is fucking up. I I think I don't, it may be a little bit on my, I think something's happening on this computer because we were having some trouble with it earlier too. So it might not be you, Mike. Technology. Technology. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, no, it, it has to be Google because the live feed of the show on Facebook Still works fine. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing, Ronnie? Rev. 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 Rev Ronnie. Huh? Ron, Rev. Ronnie Starks. I mean, we both share the same first name. You do. Well, we're like brothers. Sort of. Well, he's Ron, a he's a Ron, Ron. L. I I don't know well, if I'd say your brothers Ron. would be. Because we're brothers. I I, I don't know if I'd <laughs> you use that right? terminology. <laughs> I don't think I, did, I don't think did, I did. Did you get that. where I was going from with that? Uh, yeah. Emmett Otter, because we're brothers. You ever watch that? No. Old Christmas movie, Emmett Otter, the junk band, Christmas. What? You never watched Emmett Otter? Mm-hmm. Nope. I, no, oh, not. I got something to say. No, to no, guys. we watch we watch good Christmas movies like Die Hard. <laughs> Die Hard is a Christmas <laughs> movie. Well, what about Jingle All the Way? Uh, yeah, another great one. You had my ball. Uh, we were just talking about the other other night, Mike, um, about how Bobby Lashley has been missing in action. Well, I got a oh, message yeah. today from our friend Jim Loke at Fox uh, 5 down in D.C. that uh, he got to hung out, hang out with Bobby Lashley recently as wow. they did a promo down there uh, in D.C. Uh, for, the for, for of course, SmackDown coming to Fox. So you can check that. We did share that over on the uh, Wrestling Mayhem Show page and group. Uh, so Jim Lemke is somebody uh, he's from the Pittsburgh area and uh, we've known he's a friend of the awesome cast uh, and he's he's been around and and he actually he, his face is on the size of buses in DC <laughs> and so is Bobby Lashley and so is Bobby Lashley so you know finally mm-hmm. yeah. finally together again so it's about uh, time but I talked to him a little bit he said it was it was really great to hang out with him so and it sounds like it sounds like Bobby I, I didn't know Bobby was injured near did I uh, makes sense though why he hasn't been on yeah yeah so. But that's the word. So, um, and randomly, I just found the Terry Funk Wendy's commercial that Joe Dombrowski shared. It was amazing. So, mm-hmm. yes. Um, let's see what else there is in here. Uh, do, 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 do. King of the Ring ended this week. Oh, yeah. it sure did. Baron Corbin. Baron All Corbin. Hell. Listen, All hell. listen. This is this is a moment for Bar- Bar- I think. Like it or hate it. Baron Corbin has shined as somebody that you want to fucking hate. Mm-hmm. He has been oh, heel. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's been good great. at it. Mm-hmm. We're sick of seeing him good on him. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. He is kind of in an enviable, in, enviable position in WWE right now. 
Um, and as but he, he did have to go away for a little bit, he did have to for a minute, right? And he also had to uh, take off the uh, TGIF vest. Um, oh, that that's that's helped so much. Gimmick change. Uh, and now King Corbin. This is where Booker shined with this. Mm-hmm. What can he do now? Now the king is kind of a semi cursed thing. If you saw the King of the Ring uh, table for three, that included like what Wade Barrett, Sheamus, and Drew McIntyre. Maybe mm-hmm. was it Drew? Was Drew McIntyre one? No, it wasn't no. Drew. Who was the uh, third? Drew, can't remember. Either way, it wasn't an probably NBA Regal. Maybe no. Oh yeah, I think it might have been Regal. They're talking maybe about Regal. how it didn't really work out for them. Um, I, I'm feeling good about Baron in this. Mm-hmm. It may be just it could be just more of the same and just another reason for him to be just a, a complete shit heel. Um, but I don't know. I, th- I think it's something he can sink his teeth into. I think as long as he stays out of the main event, it'll be good. Yeah. Yeah. For the most part. But I think most of those guys do. Um, I hope that his King of the Ring like stuff looks like it's straight out of Mad Max. Yes. Like, that's what I really hope it is. King King Mad Max kind of thing. Yeah, where it just looks like this futuristic. Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't know. I have a feeling he may not wear the stuff. No, you don't think. I think I think a lot of it was destroyed on SmackDown. Oh no! Chad, I think Chad Gable pretty much. What did they do? A coronation thing and uh, oh and yeah. it got trashed. Yeah, okay. and Chad Gable was in there, which is odd because it's not like Chad Gable, you know, was cheated. No, he lost clean as a sheet, like. Maybe I don't know. It, it, it's interesting, but uh, oh, and sorry, the other thing that you missed on SmackDown, uh, Kevin Owens is counter suing Shane McMahon. <laughs> really, that's a thing for twenty five million dollars. That's it. <laughs> wrongful, wrongful termination. Wow, you could have asked for more. So I'm hoping that we get Owens versus Shane. Loser leaves WWE. I feel like we already had an I quit match. No, no, we had if Kev if Owens loses, he quits. Mm-hmm. Shane had nothing on the line. Nothing on the line. At least they're not going with Shane as WWE champion. Not yet. You you shush over there. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> until until like that doesn't happen. I'm not going to say it can't happen. Did I just jinx it? Like, is that it? You might have. You Shit. very well might have. Shit. We have not been on since um, Access TV, mm-hmm. which carries uh, Women of Wrestling, Wild Superheroes. That includes uh, Friends of the Show, Rain Lynn, as part of that. Um, and New Japan's US show mm-hmm. have, have has been acquired. Sorry oh, about that. No, I'm good. Has been acquired by Anthem. Yep. Who owns, of course, Impact Wrestling? Therefore, Impact Wrestling is coming to Fridays on Access TV. Oh. Guess who's still not going to watch it? Uh, me. And you, this you guy. Have, do you have Access? Yeah. No, I don't. Well, there you go. But still. Even if I, even if I did, wasn't going to watch But it. still more accessible than Pursuit, and you can still watch it on Twitch if you were so Sorg, interested. our feed right now is more accessible than Pursuit. <laughs> That's not a joke. It, it, yeah, okay. It's the internet. It, okay, it's, it's, it. it's accessible to all of Facebook, not just people who have direct TV in certain mountain ranges. Mm. <laughs> I, okay. I was, yeah. I was a person who lived on a mountain range that had direct TV. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah. so you would have had Pursuit. Yeah, I would have had you Pursuit. Would, you okay. would have been able to watch Impact. Mm-hmm. In, in pursuit of finding out what the hell channel Impact was on. Um, <laughs> either way, and then and then I read an article that may or may not be true about interest of them buying Ring of Honor from Seclair. Impact buying Ring of Honor? Uh, Anthem, I suppose. Oh, okay, you got me. I was like, wait, what? I mean, we. I, I said this should have happened a long time ago. That they would have merged? Yeah, the impact on ROH should have merged. Mm-hmm. This this was before, like this was around when New Japan was starting to gain steam again, mm-hmm. and way before anything with AEW. Uh, it was I I said a while back that new that Ring of Honor and Impact should have merged. Well, somebody listened, and one of them was Mark Cuban. I guess so. So I believe he's still involved 
with this um but it, it was more of a merger acquisition joint kind of thing mm. so um good to see i mean at least you know it's not fox it's not tnt but it is another place where wrestling wrestling is growing and mm -hmm. it's showing that you know what well, i would say the impact's viable but at least what what access was doing and, and they're not just wrestling they do mma they do other stuff they have hd net movies and things like that so it's kind of a multimedia thing so yeah good for them good for them good for those canadians more expo more exposure um mm -hmm. still block me on twitter but you know <laughs> well there you go well, well, well those, then those darn canucks, those darn canucks. Mm -hmm. so well, mother that, canuckers mother canuckers <laughs> anything of interest for you guys anything interesting happened in the last two weeks of wrestling you want to uh hit on oh boy there was a lot i mean I, we should probably talk about clash of champions a little bit Clash. Of, i tried and then we went somewhere else <laughs> we went to nxt i think but yeah. clash of champions um it was fun it was good it was good um we have we have tag team champions who are almost tag teams mm-hmm Almost, we're get we're getting there. They're halfway there, right? Yeah, I, I I'm hoping that the Viking Raiders get a shot at Dolphin Rude first, mm -hmm. so then I can challenge Ray Row. Still hanging on to that one. He owes me a title shot. Mm -hmm. He does. He challenged me. It's part of the lore, Ronnie. Was it? Mm -hmm. I should yeah. go back and watch. Yeah, you should go be watched. That was on you, episode like three hundred and thirty. Was it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Episode three hundred thirty, about uh, an hour and twenty-two minutes in. Mm -hmm. Well, if he doesn't give you one, I'll give you a shot at the festival championship. I don't want your titles, Ronnie. Fine. Yeah, I was just oh to, man. I was just trying to help your ass. Out, Jeez. You know? yeah. Ronnie. 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 You're, Ronnie. You're, you're you're the novice podcast host. I don't need your help. Fine. You need my help. Jeez. Fine. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm throwing it up. Um, I think good clash of the champions. I think uh, uh, I was surprised at who was in the in the running for the cruiserweight championship. That's because you haven't watched. I, have, I haven't watched it. I, mean, I haven't I haven't caught up with the that was on vacation. Yeah, um, no, I don't blame you. They'll, they'll learn that Kitty Cat Man was uh, one of the contenders. Mm -hmm. Kitty Cat Man, who's, who's uh, let's oh say Dorado. God, I forgot oh. I called him Kitty Cat Man. Yeah, when we're used to do a uh, review, wow. tried to review all the shows. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Mad Mike would review uh, Two Hundred Five Live with me, and Lindsay Dorado was referred to as Kitty Cat Man. Kitty Cat Man. Mm -hmm. so. Not that I didn't know his name wasn't Lindsay Dorado. It was just fun to call him Kitty Cat Man. It's mm -hmm. just way more fun to call him Kitty Cat Man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Big fan of Kitty Cat Man. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, yeah, other than that. Um, no. Now it's going to be Leo Rush versus Drew Gulak. That's right. Mm -hmm. I am also, uh, um, if we if we can just keep having shows where the four horsewomen uh, have some combination of matches for the next few months, I'm cool. Mm -hmm. I, I, I think they're all going to end up in the same cell at some point. In the same cell? Uh-huh. You think that's where we're leading to? Uh, of the hell variety? I, yes, of the hell of the hellish variety. Mm, okay. I, I think I think Bailey's gonna try and interfere in that match, and then Charlotte's gonna come out and all four of them are gonna be in the cell. Or mm. on top of the cell. No, no, I don't think we're doing it on top of the cell anymore. No? I don't think so. We're just over it for a bit. I I it's too dangerous. No one not everyone is Shane McMahon and mm -hmm. you know can fall out of helicopters without dying. It's true. Jeez, people are already in our group. I know I'm late, but gold baby. Ah, good stuff in wrestling. Um, well, uh, good stuff in wrestling and good stuff all around. Uh, it's time this week to uh, l find out what you guys learned in wrestling in the last two weeks. Oh boy, Mike. Oh boy, I learned a lot. I learned a lot in wrestling. Um, oh, actually, this is all right. Uh, so the rumor is that AEW show is going to be called Dynamite, mm -hmm. and I just recently learned why it was called Nitro in WCW because it's on TNT. <laughs> try, it's try Nitro Toluene. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, I, I, and it makes me hate Nitro retroactively even that much more. You know what? And never uh, all those years we watched it, never even thought about that. Never dawned on me. No. Never dawned on me, not for a second. And now AEW show is supposedly going to be called Dynamite, which is also another name for TNT. Mm. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Clever. Ronnie, what'd you learn? What'd you learn this week? Uh, or recently? Recently, I uh, haven't had you on for a couple weeks. Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. I really don't believe it or not. Ron, I really don't have Ronnie, you knew this question was coming. You should have. You I, know, yeah, my I drew a blank. Done, done some show prep. I, uh, I maybe thought of something. I, I cleared my <laughs> mind, but yet somehow the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man popped in my yeah, head. That's, it, uh, ju- it just it just popped that, in there. It was it was part of your childhood, and you just knew it could never hurt you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this town. Love this town. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Sometimes you can't hit people in the face with a clipboard. <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. It, okay. Some sometimes you you know you bust their face open. Oh. Yeah. Oh. oh no! What did you do, Ronnie? Well. What did you do, Ronald? I, I may have hit somebody very hard with a clipboard and uh, made their nose bleed. Oh boy! Yeah. Oh boy! Yeah. That sounds like a violation. Yeah, I may have apologized <laughs> like fifty thousand times in the past like five days, <laughs> but then I realized it wasn't my fault after all for his bleeding. <laughs> we went to the tape, and then I realized, oh wait, it wasn't my fault after all. But yet, I still took credit for it. You know what? That just makes you look bigger, mm. and um, I'm a goddamn professional. That's right. God damn it. You apologize for shit that's not your fault. <laughs> that's how I keep a job. <laughs> that's how you keep a job. That's how you uh, hashtag book Ronnie yeah. and all the promotions and mm-hmm. all the great promotions. Mm-hmm. Um, I learned mm-hmm. that if you're in a blindfold match, which was a classic, by the way, Mambo ex- Italiano uh, against Xander Gabriel, in which Mambo um, thought I was, well, after body slamming the ref and trying to pin him, started coming after me at ringside. Uh, that clip is on YouTube. Uh, as I mentioned, and then um, I <laughs> I learned that if you are in a blindfold match, it's very fortunate mm-hmm. if you um, also have a have merch that has eyeballs glued on them. <laughs> so if you put on a headband with eyeballs glued on them, you can see. Mm-hmm. But not to spoil the ending, you're also susceptible to eye gouges. Please tell me he <laughs> sold the eye gouge. <laughs> he sold it, rolled them up, and pinned it. <laughs> that's how they ended the match oh my god i need to watch that it's great you can that's... watch that too at indie wrestling network wow that is prospect uh... pro wrestling that may be the greatest ending i've ever heard of well, there was a lot of great stuff saturday <laughs> but that was no, my no, favorite wait, thing was it an eye gouge or did someone pull the no eye it was off? an eye gouge no it was an eye gouge so it was a like, think boop, and then he's like, he said i can see what do you want to do now in italian accent and he's like eye gouge rolled him up and oh boy that's fantastic good guy wins Oh, oh wow. my god, that's fantastic. Um, also, you know, all right, I'm going to say that may be the be- the best finish I've heard of since and if you know me this is high praise from me since uh Brian Christopher put a head and shoulders bottle on head. <laughs> mm. I remember that. Okay. All right. Yeah. 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 So you can pin mm-hmm. them. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was like a yeah, handicap match. Yeah. Because the right? shoulders are down. Yeah. Yeah. Because the shoulders are down, sir. Uh, other great. You'll probably appreciate this. There was that 5K on the pole match, and Lebanon Don comes out with a cigar. He has the trainee at the ringside bring him a cigar, light it, brings the ref over while Rev is grabbing the bag off the pole, gives him money. The ref just looks at it. And goes shrugs and goes ah and falls down, not seeing Rev pull the thing because <laughs> Lebanon Don says you know what to do. Uh, Lebanon Don gets the cigar to the eyes for Rev and grabs the bag, shows the ref, wins the match and five thousand dollars. Kudos That's... to the people who called both those finishes. Mm-hmm. Um, like it was the best stuff. Oh my god. Like on a night that again, a night that was all gimmick matches, it was all stipulation matches. Like there was so much creativity. It right? sounds like my kind of place. It's, it does sound like your kind of place. Oh, that God. sounds great. That sounds great. Hey, it sounds uh, like I'd want to book that place. Yeah. Prospect Sword, Pro. Sword, uh, Sword, can you tell them about? Can you tell them about my Taipei Penne match? 
Can I tell them about it? Well, they're, yeah. no, no, they're the ones you were telling about because they're the ones that did Pirates I know, of Deathmatch. But, but can you can you tell them to put it on the spin the wheel, make the deal <laughs> for next year? <laughs> we'll see. I'll see what I can do. I, like, I'll see like, if I just, can talk to management. Just don't even like when they put it on the wheel. Don't even explain what the match is. Just tape a box of pasta and a roll of duct tape to it. <laughs> tell no one what the match means. But if it lands on it, that's when you explain where it is. So the pasta death match is so over there that when they landed on the blind, blindfold match for Mambo Italiano's match, like they were just continuing to chant pasta, pasta, pasta. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because didn't he like stick pasta to somebody's head and the pasta like spread apart? Um, no, they like didn't they, do that they were, part. Like, bamboo sticks or no, something No, they didn't like do that. the bamboo sticks, but there was a lot of, there was a lot of like pasta in styrofoam sticking out kind of stuff. Oh, that's fantastic. That was very similar to that. Was anybody getting slammed on pasta? Uh, I be- yes. Like the yes. pasta there was a up, There was a, be- there was a bed of pasta. Oh my God. They just poured out pasta I'm in this bed you. thing. Please tell there me is, that's was, on the network. It is on the network. I need to watch that. You need to watch that. Yeah. 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 Hey, Roddy, well, you you heard about my Taipei Pen A match, right? No. All um, right, real quick recap. Oh God, okay. So you know how ECW used to have a Taipei Death Match? Yeah. Um, that, but you wrap your you wrap your fists in duct tape, you stick it in tomato sauce and pasta, <laughs> like like crunched up pasta noodles. So I'm totally in. <laughs> Throw, yeah. a, throw a tarp over the, the, the ring first, please. The Taipei Pen A match. I mean, marshmallows were a problem this weekend, so. <laughs> who messed who all right. with marshmallows? As I, as I spoil all the high spots of Prospect Pro Wrestling, uh, uh, they come out with the bags. Um, the STDs come out with the bags, and they look like they're tack bags. And they pour them out, and it was uh, marshmallows. <laughs> oh man! And then so people started chanting now, "hot chocolate, hot chocolate." Now, were they the soft marshmallows or were they like hard marshmallows? They were the from, soft little from a year old box of lucky well, charms. I, well, I didn't. I don't know, but they ate them off the mat. So at least they didn't start chanting "super loco" because that. Was yeah, just, I know, yeah, yeah, you would have liked that one. Yeah, because and uh, then and then they did it again, and they were Legos. I, I like the Lego spots. Mm. I'm a fan of using Legos and matches. I oh, mean, yeah. WWE's done Lego spots now, so yeah, that's true. I was on a show where they made a table of Legos, and somebody got body slammed through no. the table of Legos. Yeah. Oh, sounds, super superhuman's yeah. done that too. Well, yeah, you know, he he, he did it for Juggalos and Juggalettes. Yeah, whoop whoop. whoop. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's 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 a character. Oh boy, is he? he he's he, a thing. He's, he's getting booked on indie shows. I can't believe that shit. Mm, I learned that. That happens. Um, from the <laughs> chat, Tina learned it was uh, just as awesome to see Amazing Red versus Will Ospreay on New Japan World as it was to see it live. That sounds yeah. fun. Yeah, mm. That sounds awesome. Uh, we've seen Amazing Red here in a few matches at RWA. Yeah, namely, him versus um, Sanjay Dutt. We well, got the Dutt film fan, for RWA. Yeah. yeah, real good stuff. Um, <laughs> Matt, some guy named Matt said that Ronnie learned that you cannot lose without a prevention. Hey, no, I hear that, Matt. I don't know what we do with our loss prevention. Nope. Uh, also, Dave Potter learned that he still dislikes Brock Lesnar. Yep, <laughs> fair. Yeah, mm. that's understandable. Okay. I, I hate his beard. Have you seen his beard? Is weird. No, I haven't seen his beard. His beard, his beard is, is weird, man. To watch beard that. Weird. Uh, Ronnie Starks, you're going to be at wrestling. Uh, it's the 29th, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sunday the yes. 20th. <laughs> I, I get those days, 28th, 29th, you know. Uh, Sunday the 29th, I will be making my official uh, Uprise debut. Mm-hmm. I am managing the great Alexander, and yes. he's facing Peyton Graham. So that's oh, going to yeah, be a real... It's not a Street Fighter or anything, is it? No, but he's still going to probably... It, might, it still might as well be, right? Yeah. yeah. I, I just, yeah. You know, we uh, we met up on uh, yesterday, and you know, I talked to him, and we talked strategy. I pet him a show, I'm like, you're going to do just fine, kid. And I was like, <laughs> Slowly walk away. It's, it's ah, he, he looked good. He looked good it's, against Tej at that Rise yeah, show in Springdale last month. He's he's very good. Yeah, he's got a bright yeah. future ahead of him. He has weird so. things with his abs. Uh, I wish I had abs. So I'm, yeah, I'm I, jealous. Well, you do weird things if you had abs too, right? Uh, it's true. I would. 
Yeah, hmm? like he made like he like rubbed them on the guy or something like that last match. It was weird. I just ignored that. That was strange. <laughs> okay. All right. No, I didn't know. I didn't know what to do with that part. He's, he's going to be very good. Okay. So a lot of good things coming from that kid. There. Popping up anywhere else in the next few weeks? Uh, well. Well, I mean, you'll be around to tell us, I guess. Yeah, we got a while. <laughs> that's the, that's going to happen. In that's two the, weeks, mo- so, the most yeah. immediate one. Um, I will be up at uh, Revenge Pro Wrestling. Uh, this weekend, uh, you'll you'll see me ringside with a camera getting in your way if you're ringside. Stop getting in the way. Sorry, cats. There's not much room over there. Uh, and also, I understand uh, recently joining us with... Uh, no, that's not the right one. <laughs> that's not the right one. Right, I want to get the show info for this weekend of our new friends, I believe, is the UX... WA out there in Brooklyn, Ohio. Uh, our colleagues uh, will be filming for indie wrestling.us out there. That's in Brooklyn, Ohio. Brooklyn, and we have Brooklyn. information for that shared on the <laughs> indie wrestling.us. <laughs> You know, if I was driving out there for this show, and it will be in November, um, I'm going to be doing that the whole time of the Brooklyn, Brooklyn. You should, like, roll up in the parking lot. I'm bringing the hood to you. <laughs> Tell me, <laughs> Brooklyn, Ohio, what you're going to do. Uh, some friends are going to be on that show, including uh, Daniel C. Rockingham, uh, Ziggy Heim. Uh. I've learned how to say her name right. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the uh, Philly and Marino experience don't ask me which is which as we discussed with joe last week uh <laughs> there's a whole part where we said which which was philly which one's marino um anyways and my theory about not knowing not being able to tell um um tag partners apart until they until a certain point well, so i couldn't tell you which hardy was which for the longest time well you know i mean one right? one was ultra talented and the other one was jeff hardy so <laughs> hey yeah. man mike 43 on the twitters youtube.com slash poppy the n- future, future. <laughs> thank future you 24 7 champion thank you thank you producer missy for mostly staying awake back there hello missy and looks okay and moving on <laughs> thank you everybody for joining us Did again you just thank missy for looks and no she's like i'm just i was giving the yeah. play-by-play she, she, play she by gave play. you the uh, i'm she gonna murder me. you in your sleep look yeah well that's i mean that's that's, that's, <laughs> that's just the look that's just the general look these days <laughs> all right we're gonna go watch some pasta wrestling and uh thank you everybody we'll be back tuesday 9 p.m eastern time uh on tuesday and uh from every tuesday uh forever and ever amen uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time, then attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.